Hey everybody, welcome back to Old Style Classic Baseball Cards. I'm Rob, and uh, video number two, I actually did a short video for you uh, before this one. Um, picking up this uh, from eBay today, finally came in the mail. This is my 1989 Andre Dawson Mini Major League Leaders card um, from Topps. You used to be able to buy these little packs like in the cellophane pack like I don't know like 10 cards or 5 cards or something I was just noticing uh, when going through my binder because I showed you my 88's which there's one like this and then another one um, <clears throat> and they're the size of those sticker card stickers on one side card on the other um, but when I was looking through my regular cards these look much like like the team leaders cards so like uh there's like expos leaders and it had an uh, image of andre dawson the expos uniform um with that same design with the white border and that kind of and in the inside there um so the reminiscent of those team leaders cards from the 80s tops flagship sets and uh, they're not tobacco minis, but just to let you know, there's a um, full-size standard card nowadays. So that's what that looks like. And uh, let's see, do I have any minis sitting around here? I guess I have this one. I'll show you this one here. There's your tobacco mini. So, so tobacco mini is a little shorter. And definitely smaller so just to give you an idea what we got there so I needed to pick that up to add into my PC because I didn't have that card and um, so that's pretty sweet and it shows uh, what he was uh, doing good at and uh, the old 88 season there once again he is number two in hits with 179 the National League and number three in the batting average, 303. So uh, that's pretty um, pretty solid stuff. Ranked number five in slugging percentage, number six in games, number eight in triples, or is that a six? Number six in triples with eight. Number nine in home runs. Got to keep in mind, this guy had like 10 or 11 knee surgeries by that point in time. He's one of the greats in the home runs and stolen bases category of all time. It used to be him and uh, Willie Mays, I believe, in the 400, 300 club. And uh, yeah, certain clubs like that, old Andre's part of. So, I picked that up today from eBay, and that's all I got. Um, do a quick recap of what I showed you guys yesterday. I showed you my um, mini frame relic cards that I had recently transferred from one touches over to um, top loaders to save space and weight in the box. So, I was showing you guys my older. Uh, these aren't all the ones that I have. I have a few more spread out, but um, that's in this box right here that I'm keep most of my own Ginter hits in. So these are my older ones. That's that 2008 Jermaine die. The card was a little more plasticky back then, and they had a smaller relic. And uh, 2009 Jay Bruce. So, just give you guys a quick look at those again. I'll show you some other cards I got. I got it. Miguel Cabrera. If you want more detail, go back to yesterday's video and watch my, um, I believe it's my second video of um, me showing these in more detail. Yep, it's my. January 21st, number two, Alan Ginter Early Years Mini Frame Relics Stack. So, um, Gallardo, 
you can see the front and backs and pause it if you want to read about those. Grady Sizemore. Go into more depth about each card. Tory Hunter <laughs> with two eyes. Yeah, that's funny. We were joking about that in that last video. Of course he has two eyes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's not wearing a patch. It would have been funny if it was a patch card, though. <laughs> so, Tory Hunter with a patch because of his two eyes. Anyhow, the Robinson Cano looking like Kirk Gibson on that card. Pretty frames on those ones. This one's pretty cool frame, too. Freddie Freeman. Early Freddie Freeman of 2012 there. Hardy Lang, Comedium, nice swatch, swath or whatever you want to call that, multicolor relic, Rosario, they didn't do a whole lot of color in Pinstripe's early days, that was Willen Rosario, then we had a 10th anniversary JJ Hardy on a 2008 buyback card, Stamp 10th anniversary framed in 2015. Another Miguel Cabrera. So I looked it up. Well, I uh, I found out that he hit that triple crown in 2012. So in between those two relics that we got, and Adrian Gonzalez, whole story about the Cubs playing the Dodgers to go to the World Series. You can watch that in the last video. And John Lester, 2016, when the Cubs won the World Series. A lot of uh, a lot of it on the back hole. John Lester there, star pitcher for us Cubbies. Thank you, John, for helping us win the World Series, breaking the curse. All right, so what I want to show you all next is uh, I'll just move on to this little stack of cards from, I believe, last year that... Well, I haven't touched these since last year, so you do the math. And uh, these ones seemed like the good ones to pull last year, and uh, and they're just still in there. So that was a Chrome Rookie Design Variant. Jeremy Pena Rookie Card. Shane Boz. Pena, base, Alan Ginter, rookie card. That's short print, number 349 from last year. The Julio Rodriguez, rookie card, mini. And uh, some of these I probably just put in because I was digging through the cards at the time or, or opening them and didn't have anywhere to put them, so... The Buster Posey Gold Border, retail exclusive. We got a J-Rod rookie card there. It's not the only one I have, but it's this is in this little stack. So Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card from Allen and Ginter 2022. And then here you go. I don't know. This, of course, I got a ton of them. A bunch of Wander Francos. Those were good cards to pull last year. Another Julio. Aaron Judge. Always good to get an Otani card. Mike Trout. I really love this design here on this uh, 2022 here. 2022 is a nice year, but 2023 is epic. Mike Trout Banner Season. And uh, like I said, just because they were there. Uh, gold Border. Wife already went off to bed because she took some medicine. 
that make her drowsy? Oh, I, that's the other thing I was going to talk about. Um, when I was going through my phone, I noticed that I had some shorter videos, and I don't think I uploaded those. And, um, and maybe some of the other videos, maybe I missed um, uploading. So I'll have to go through those and compare the times to my videos and see if I missed anything. But one of the videos I have, actually two, was showing me first finding out that I opened a hobby box and got my first uh, box of hot box cards. So I bought last year from the local card shop at Stevens Creek a hobby box of multiple boxes but I bought a hobby box 2021 Allen and Ginters and pulled my first hot box. So I have these two together just because I want to show the difference between the base and the hot box. So that was cool finally pulling my first hot box. So I'll just show you some of I'll show you the rookies. Need alert, need art, Gonzalez, Dahlback, Jimenez, Kim. 2021 wasn't a great rookie class. Schmidt. At least, who knows, maybe someday it'll end up being one. Um, Tavares, Jeffers, Cronesworth, Ubik, Javier, Caprellian. Sorry about my voice, folks, it's a little off. Abreu, Campusano. Craig, Garcia, Vaughn, Joey Bart for you Bay Area guys. Show you the back real quick. Just standard, like any other card, they're a little different stock as well. They're not just the paper stock with foil on it. They're very almost plasticky like, almost like a playing card, but stiffer. Alec Bohm. Varsho, Sanchez, Pache, Florio, Wasabi, and uh, Joe Adele. Well, you got a lot of rookies in that hot box, huh? Alright, I guess I'll keep going. Carlson, Howard. Alright, that's that was it for the rookies. Then we got like Reggie Jackson, Bueller, Hendricks, Marquez, Merrifield, Springer, Josh Gibson, that's a cool one. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Roberto Clemente in the hot box. Strasburg. Mustakis. Bryce. Shizzle Rizzle, Verdugo, Yelich, Snyder, Yushkrinsky, there you go, Hot Box, Cabrera, Miggy, Babe, Lou Brock, Kirby Puckett, these are all 2021s, Flaherty, Marcus Stroman, Bessinger, Andres, Looks like the Macho Man to me there after he retired. Castellanos. Pudge Rodriguez. Vita Blue. Uncle Larry. Rivera. Jeff Garland. And Brickley. So I got about a st two more stacks that big I could show you, but I'm just going to skip those because I want to move on. All right. Next, I want to show you some of my um, cool mini cards that I've picked up over the, you know, now these aren't going to be the ones that are in my binder. So they're not sitting in front of me or over off to the side. But this is a 2009 Kochman. Now these I all pulled myself. So 
So this is when they did these cards that went up out of 50. So I believe that's what the no numbers, the early no number was not an A and G back. But you don't, you know, it doesn't have the number there. So they would hand number those. So that was 41 of 50. So now they just do the A and G back without the number on there. And you just know that they're only limited to 50. Then I had picked up the holiday. And that was the, what's the equivalent of Brooklyn back now, but they used to call them bat backs, the red bat back, number two of 25. So I pulled all these, and I believe for the majority of these would be out of blasters, to be honest with you, because that's probably all I could afford back in uh, 2013. I don't think I had any hobby boxes till later. <clears throat> I got the U Darvish. So I'll keep these in one touches because... I like them, and that's the red back, I guess is what they would call it. It wasn't Brooklyn back yet. So that's 7 of 25 on a U Darvish. <clears throat> then, as I told you, I had some more cool Freddie Freeman stuff. I did pull my own metal. Now, this is the base metal, not the super short print, because there's three metal cards in the base set. So you see that's card number 47. So that's the base Freddie Freeman mini metal card. And uh, you could have got this in packs. And I this might have been out of Hobby Box. But it was pulled straight from a pack. So there's limited to three. They don't number them though. They're not hand numbered or anything. They're limited to three. So there's only three of this card. And that's the base metal cards. And then there's also three super short print metal cards that came out of the rip cards. So technically there's six Freddie Freemans in theory if he's on that list of super short prints. <clears throat> if he's not, then there's only three base ones. But <clears throat> if he is in the super short prints from the rip cards, they would have three different images of Freddie Freeman metal cards. That would have been numbered over three, 351 to 400. So that was one of the rarest pulls that I got. All right, going 2020. Got the Bernie Williams. Um, let me look. I think this Freddie Freeman is 2020 as well. Sorry if I skip the dates. If you want to ask me to show those again, I'll show them sometime. But if I skipped anything or you want to see it better, let me know. Leave a comment. Please subscribe and leave some comments and like if you do. I like to exchange, talk with people through the comments. If you have any questions or any observations or anything like that. And if you subscribe, then my videos can get out to more people and who can see them. Uh, so anyways, that's Bernie Williams, and that's the Brooklyn back. So that's what we got nowadays is a Brooklyn back. But this year, the Brooklyn backs are not this color. They're just the plain normal color, um, like the regular dark, like black or gray back. And the numbering, the hand numbering, instead of being on the back there, 425. The numbers on the 2023 would be up here. So there you go, Yankee fans. There was a Brooklyn back, Bernie Williams, and that is a short print one, none, nonetheless, 323. So that's pretty nice. All right, here we go, folks. Out of Allen and Ginter X in 2021, boom. Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez, gray mini. What's important about the gray minis from Allen and Ginter X? Those are numbered 101s. So Hall of Famer, Pedro Martinez, 101. So I'll give you a chance to take a look at that, maybe if I can. I try to give you guys some better focus here so maybe we can read this. Like if you want to see the code, double check yourself.
So anyways, you can read about old Pedro there. So that's a cool card. Silver Mini. It's just cardboard. That was super cool. That's a nice one to get. First red that I ever pulled myself was also out of 2021 Alan Ginter X, and that's the Diamondbacks Cole Calhoun. And the reds are hand number to five. So, Calhoun. I don't know if we can get that code in here. There you go. There's a code if you want to see that. Pause it. Take a look. Hand number two of five. Nice card. Alright. Next we have Guriel Jr. So I did pretty good in 2020 and 2021 with some of the minis. Didn't do so hot this year. I bought a twice as much stuff this year as I did these years and I only pulled one no number card and I don't know if I pulled any well you know as far as the minis go have not done good in 2023 other than stuff that I've purchased and that is the no number back I only enter Lourdes Griel Jr. So, that's cool. Those are the ones limited to 50. 2021. All right, next. Got a Glaber Torres. That's 2022. And that is the Brooklyn back. So see how the color is not red this time. So it's similar of this year, 2023. So maybe they alternate. Like 2022. No. I guess they're not alternating because this year they're similar back. Not the design, but it's not red like you see in the past. But that's 3 of 25. Glaber Torres base. But super cool cards. I love the Brooklyn backs. It's hand numbered, and that's what you're going to get from Alan and Ginter for the most part is it's hand numbered. Unless you get like a 101. That's why when I show you in my old videos those cards that have stamps on them, that actually have like numbered stamps, they're really rare. Like the red borders from, uh, what is it, 2013, 2014, and they're numbered like out of 33 or out of 40. Uh, that's really rare for Alan and Ginter. Uh, sometimes on the mini frames, you'll get the frame stamped, like foil stamped. But Alan and Ginter, they're going to not tell you, or it's usually going to be hand printed. So if you go back and look at some of my videos, at some of those um, different rare things that I talk about, like the employee card that's got the stamping on it instead of the hand numbering, and it's got like a bio of the person. Those are some really rare and different things for Allen and Ginter. That's why I like Allen and Ginter is because it is pretty um, rare to get some of this stuff. And this is an example of what I'm talking about. So you can see that 101 right there stamped into the actual frame. And that, years back, was my first printing plate that I ever pulled and it's the only one that I have for Allen and Ginter which is my favorite set and that is a 101 as you can see here it says 101 on it Jake Ordozzi number 43 and that is the actual black printing plate used to manufacture the cards and I think they have three or four different plates for each card. They're all 101s. So one would be magenta, one would be like yellow and all that. And uh, so that's super cool and that is 
back in 2016 when I pulled this card out of a blaster, I would believe. Because in 2016, I probably didn't have money to be buying hobby boxes. Um, but it could have been. But that's awesome. My first printing plate. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get a different kind of card that Allen and Ginters has done. Now, this year, for example, they have the mini um, World Series team, Houston Astros set of cards world series but they're like one in two hundred thousand packs to get that and um so they're super rare and they're limited to like 25 of each player or something like that um so that i would want to get but i don't need to get the whole set just to have one now that's specific to 2023 now printing plate they do every year they give these away so i have one that doesn't mean I, you know, so when I say I need one of everything they do, that doesn't mean I need a printing plate from every every season. Just, I need a printing plate just like the metal card. But I still need like a wood card. I've never got one of those. Finally got stained glass, the super short print stained glass, and the base stained glass. And um, just like the box loader, relic, autograph, those kind of things. So... That was a big check off my list back then. And it really doesn't matter who. Of course, if I can get an Andre Dawson, then I'd be super stoked. But I think the next big card for me from Allen and Ginter would be to get something like this uh, Danica Patrick printing plate would be cool. All right, so here you go. Here's one of the few cards that Allen and Ginter actually stamps the card. So that's a Jameson, and it really, it's really, really doesn't stand out a whole lot, especially in 2022. But that is the glossy, and there you can see that is the 101 artist Blake Jameson. So that is the glossy full size. Now they have glossy minis as well, numbered to 101. So there's one card for each, there's one one of one for each of the 350 cards in the set. Each one has a one of one, a glossy one of one. It's hard to tell on that one touch. And now they do the same thing with the minis. <clears throat> so there it is, there's my check off my list. I pulled a one of one full size then here's the first rip card that I ever got and that's a Zach Grinky Grinky sorry 31 of 50 and I fought off wanting to rip this card for all these years so I still haven't done that and that's 2016 I have run a magnet across it and it's so it's not a metal card in there I know that much so that is the Zach Granke that's what they look like in 2016 and bear with me just a second here so anyways as you can see I have a um, super magnet over here so you can always just run those and if one of those metal cards was in there, you would know. All right, just a second. So pull out the pretty Freeman so you can see. The pretty Freeman sticks right to that. So if there was a metal card in there, you would know. All right. So, if you want to take these with you. Anywho, so there you go. That's for, um, Zach Grinky. And I didn't think that was a good one to rip because he's uh, probably a uh, Hall of Fame pitcher. So, um, I don't know. There's been a few times I was close to wanting to actually uh, break that card open, but just don't have the heart. 
All right. Beautiful card. And then to last year I bought some 2020s, 2021s, and 2022 hobby boxes. So these I got last year, even though it's from a 2020 set. So I did pull a Mike Schmidt rip card. And that is number 57 of 75. Might have a ding in one of the corners a little bit. So that might be a candidate for opening. But I know there's a lot of Mike Schmidt, coll Schmidt collectors. So I never felt that I should rip that. Um, the only card I ever ripped from Alan and Ginter was that uh, Fernando Tatis triple rip card box loader. And all I did was exact on that cards out of it to protect the integrity of the rest of the card so it's still pretty presentable. Um, just got standard cards, stained glass, and the two super short prints. But anyways, that's pretty sweet. So you Mike Schmidt fans, Philly fans. Um, too many to mention. That's pretty sweet. And uh, last but not least, I'll just go and have and show you this. I picked up, you know, I had this. I from when I first started getting Allen and Ginter's. Don't worry, that's just a thing in the plastic there. It's not on the card. It's not even on the one touch. It's just this um, plastic bag. But anyways, um, along with picking up the Danica Patrick full-size card and our mini back in 2006 when Allen and Ginter's first came out, one of the cards I did uh, get out of one of the blasters or packs that I was buying from Bubba's Bullpen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, they're no longer there. I guess Bubba died last year. But uh, that's where I discovered Alan and Ginter. That's where I got the sell sheet. And I was buying packs of those from there. Maybe Target. Um, but I know, because I must only have gotten like a row that thick of cards from 20, 2006 and you know, some of those cards from that row would be from some of the blasters I bought when I moved here to California that they still had them uh, but anyways I did pull Mike Tyson way back then so that's one of the chase cards from that set especially if you can get the autograph card that's another big one there's him Mike, Mike Tyson Hulk Hogan, Danica Patrick, Jenny Finch, um, Andy Irons. I don't know if Tony Hawk was in that one, but nevertheless, that's a sweet one of the Chase short print cards. Number 301, that's the first short print of Allen and Ginter because everything up to 300 is the base set. Everything after 300, starting at 301, is the short print short set up to 350 and uh, so that's the way it is this year it's a little different 2023 they went up all the way to um, 400 cards so they gave you uh, the short set was 301 to 400 but 351 to 400 are the um, super short prints in the minis from rip cards exclusive so there are no 350 one through three to four hundred minis out there unless they're from a rip card so anyways and then one other year they did some weird thing like this where they went up to like 300 then i think they did like 350 to 400 and there was no like 301 to 350 it's it's weird that's one of the interesting things about Alan and Ginter is they do stuff like that. So anyways, folks, uh, those are some of the um, cards that I thought were special enough to put in one touches. And then I re-showed you my relics and some of those hot box cards. And this is where we started the day off with the um, 
Andre Dawson Mini from 1989. Major League Leaders. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, video from Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. I'm Rob. Sorry about my voice. A little, <clears throat> still a little um, raw from yesterday. Uh, ended up evacuating whatever was bothering me where I was coughing and hiccuping all lot, you know, at my videos yesterday. Uh, finally um, came back up and so my voice is pretty raw alright so maybe I'll get some more eBay tomorrow if not then I'll start showing you some more of these top loaded cards I have in this box um, before I ever get around to the uh, autographs thanks for watching please subscribe leave a comment a like if you wouldn't mind didn't cost you anything not even having to watch ads on my videos um, but yeah let me know what you think uh, what do you guys think about those mini cards from back then I loved them back in the day because they were glossy <laughs> alright thanks for watching Rob out bye